because of that long reach. And she is down. Look at that. What was that? 400,000 health in uh, 16 hits. To the channel. Some of you may know, I just take Cable up to rank three and I'm actually pumped up about it. This guy rocks, like destroys stuff, melts things. I will definitely be getting out a lot of videos on him, including like a full review. He's a totally different champion once you pair him with Apocalypse, uh, who is an amazing traveling partner. In fact, probably the best traveling partner and caddy in the game. I can't think of anyone that's even close to that. Uh, Apocalypse is kind of the star of the show, uh, to be honest. And, um, but I wanted to get, I wanted to get something out. I wanted to get something, I just ranked him up. I'm pumped up on it. Let's go ahead and show this. If we're gonna show it, let's do this. So we're just gonna kill off Apocalypse here. No big deal. Uh, I, my, my big, my big Paco is in, um, is in AQ anyway. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. So we'll just use a little revive on this guy. And we will horseman cable, which honestly does not, it's not necessary. It is not necessary. I'm not gonna say it doesn't helpful. It is, uh, but a lot of it is just their synergy. In fact, keep that in mind if you're using them in uh, incursions and you, for some reason, have to remove apocalypse. You're gonna you're gonna use uh, lose the synergy. But to show this is a seven point one. Uh, the main important part here is the biohazard, uh, and then there is you know the part that's gonna help mutants with purifying debuffs. But we've made him a horseman. Uh, and then he has the 60%, he's starting with 60% poison resistance because of White Magneto, who's awesome in his own right and fits on this team really well. And then uh, there's some other nice little synergies there uh, beefing him up, but just watch this melt. All right, so we have made him a horseman that is obviously going to help a little bit, but like I was saying, it's really the synergy that's the key. Keep that in mind if you ever take him into incursions and you for some reason move Apocalypse. But you can see, and then here's the thing, is you don't always have to be able to parry. Because you can time it with the ending of their special. Uh, there's a long reach on it, on that, on his heavy. You've seen the heal even kicking in. So this guy heals, he's got a power gain. And then watch this SP2. Let's see if this can finish him here. Yep, he's done. That was 10% of his health. And then keep in mind, there was going to be a concussion that was going to be reducing ability accuracy by 90%. It's a lot. Uh, plus an incinerate whose damage is increased by, I believe it is a 150% due to the synergy with Apocalypse. So we'll see how this works. Obviously with the long shot, uh, this may be a little bit different, but let's give it a chance. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. And we're at full health. We're running suicides. And we are at full health. Let's see what long shot can uh, muster up against us here. Those are some big red numbers, which I love seeing. There you go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, parry and heavy is nice when you can do it, but the reach on his heavy is so long. Uh, if I could have landed the reparry there, you would have seen we could have locked him in the corner. All right, let's combo a little bit, see how that goes. Throw this, and then let's see how that uh, incinerate works out for us. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. This is what I'm talking about with this guy. I am running suicides, absolutely no boost. I really hope I get to bring him into war and just melt the heck out of stuff. Like I said, I got, um, I got, uh, I got Apocalypse there on day one or two or something like that. And I was making a video on him and I was like, this cable guy is just like, he is awesome. He is incredible. I think we're sleeping on something here. I only had him at rank one, so I didn't have the ability to really max him out. Uh, but now that I have, I'm really grateful to my Alliance for picking him. I would have felt a little guilty about it, to be honest. Um, but that's one of the things I love about being there, too, is they're like, just rank who you like, dude. And uh, got to do that here. Get a nice true strike after the SP3, but I think I'm going to stick with this just to get Nick down here. Let's 
see the power gain in the heel, which does kick in. It's, it is nice. All right, let's see if Nick will start killing himself. I always feel a little badly saying that. And then we'll go ahead and punish this and we'll throw the SP2. Perfect. Oh, the unstoppable from the horseman there. Heavy him down. And then we'll probably, let's see if this finishes it, huh? There we go, not bad. Took a lot of blocked hits there. He's a pretty beefy boy. Uh, so don't feel too bad about that. Curious to see if his, if his healing will uh, come in. You know, it, it only triggers, I think about 15% of the time, I believe if I got that correct. So we'll see. The heavy is just beautiful and the damage that comes off of it. very safe I wouldn't mind getting him into the corner here will not throw the sp2 because I do not want to uh, apply it and incinerate to our friend here mr. torch And there is the Unstoppable coming in to help out. So big damage, we've healed off. We have suicides, but we've healed up uh, with that poison resistance. And then um, as we talked about, oh, that's not good. All right, let's see if we can recover from it. I got the heal, still wanted to finish the fight though. Let's see here. Uh, Elsa should not be a problem. With our buffs, I guess in in theory, uh, Morningstar might be, but let's take a look. Let's see how this goes. So far, so good. Ooh, long heavy there definitely saved me. Throw the special. And finish her off. Huh. All right, I kind of want to see if we can finish this lane off now. That wasn't my intention in the beginning. Uh, I'm excited about this guy in case you can't tell. Haven't even used the, the pre-fight yet. Let's go ahead and use it, because why not? Gain a little more attack rating. And then we're going to get that kind of funky passive stun. I don't like it because it does kick you pretty far back, but Cable's heavy reach uh, should make it so it's not an issue. Yeah, we're fine. Fine. And it just makes timing uh, the heavy after an opponent's uh, special so much easier because of that long reach. And she is down. Look at that. What was that? 400,000 health in uh, 16 hits. Probably didn't even need to let, uh, land the last couple there. I imagine we're not going to be able to take out this boss. Uh, but let's see. All right, so uh, doing this fight streaming style was not working out for me. It was a little late at night and I was standing up. Anyways, enough with excuses. I did revive Cable. 
went back in because I'm like, I know he can do this fight and I think it'd be a really great end to this video. Uh, and that's what you're going to see here. It does take a while. It's a long fight, right? Uh, it's a long way to do it. But uh, there's a couple of things I really want to point out here. I want to point out, I would like you to see, we're going to let her, I'm intentionally letting her heal to full because I wanted to show that, you know, he can do this fight from the beginning, from the get go. There's a lot more utility to this guy. I know uh, a lot of people just like, you know, oh, it's the heavy, parry, heavy, parry, heavy. First of all, why make something complicated if it can't be done easily? And second of all, there's a lot more to him than that. Uh, his specials actually do different things. There's the true strike, plus the concussion and the incinerate. And the incinerate's really gonna play a role here. I'd like you to keep an eye on that because I'm going to need to have it uh, on Gwenpyrian every time that timer's going off. You can see it in the upper right-hand corner. If that's not on there, she's going to heal up to full. She is immune to ability accuracy reduction. So the concussion, despite being at 90%, is not really doing anything for us. Additionally, uh, as you saw in the video, a lot of his damage is coming from the heavy and the degeneration uh, that's coming off of that and stacking that. And a lot of that was due to having the opponent at a lower bar of power, right? It is uh, dependent on how low their power bar is uh, when you land it. And so she's gonna be at a high uh, amount of power throughout this fight because of the massive power gains. So we're gonna be doing a lot of five hit combos. That's not usually what you're gonna see out of, out of Cable. You're also not gonna see a ton of specials, but that's what's going to happen here. And remember, we have suicides on. So the healing's happening, the suicides are on, so we're healing back the recoil. And because we're having to continuously refresh that incinerate and make sure that it is on when the timer goes off for her and her healing. And then by far the most important part, for me anyways, on this, is the power gain. The power gain is is a big deal. You're gonna see how often and frequently it's gonna be triggered, triggering and how that's going to allow me to uh, see. I mean, it's like, it, it's gonna get to the point where it's almost every bar power. Well, that's a little exaggerating a little bit, but it's frequently and it's enough for me to continuously be getting to an SP2 uh, to make sure we have the incinerate on. I, this guy is awesome. He is amazing. Um, I, I'm sure I'm gonna do a little something at the beginning of the video, but if you're still watching, He's going to get this fight down. Keep really an eye on that power gain there and the healing. I mean, we started off at 60%. My goal, my goal with this video and probably the next two, I already have the first one, the, the next one, the footage is done, is to show that I'm not saying he's as good as Omega Red. They are different champions. And like, honestly, it depends on the defender and on the node. We go over that every time we do a champions ranking. What I'm saying is this, and this is what I hope I can get uh, at least the people who watch my videos and, and maybe more in the community to, real, uh, to see or to at least question or wonder or be like, okay, that guy's not insane for saying this. That Cable and Apocalypse are better or just as good as Omega Red and Sabretooth. And we don't even question that you bring Sabretooth along with Omega Red. We don't even question that you bring Wasp along with Ghost because they just make those champions so incredibly good, right? Well, uh, Apocalypse is significantly better than those traveling partners and Cable is too. So no matter who you're deciding the star of the show is, whether it's Apocalypse or Cable, that duo and their synergies together are amazing and deserve to be in that discussion. They, I, I'm actually probably going to make a space for Cable as a horseman in my rankings and have him ranked as a horseman and without because it's just nutty. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it will take a little bit longer. You see we have about 52% down. He's not doing his ma uh, main way of damage, so it is gonna take a bit. Uh, but again, the power gain, the ability to continuously refresh that incinerate and make sure we've got it to an SP2 and the incinerate on anytime that heal timer comes up. Uh, and then watch he heal up. You see, I took a little hit there on the special, right? Uh, watch how much he heals up. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you keep an eye out for the cable showcase that's coming up. The guy is gonna take a fight and destroy it uh, from at least one lane of every chapter in Act 7.1, and he just obliterates it. It's awesome to see. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.
I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow on Twitter at VegaGaming583. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.